Navigation events are non-destructive edits that allow for various playback behaviors such as skipping measures, repeating sections, holding fermatas indefinitely, and more. You may find these navigation events already pre-programmed in accordance with the score of prepared content, but understand that users may add, change, or remove them at any time in edit mode. You can find navigation events in both our Coach and Symfonia applications, but for this video, we'll demonstrate them in Symfonia. It should also be noted that navigation events can only be seen in the timeline if the navigation view filter is selected. Some navigation events apply to a span of music and require a selection that has a start and ending point. You can select the span of measures that you wish to apply your edit by entering edit mode and clicking and dragging your mouse arrow across the timeline. You can edit your selection by typing in the selection attributes area. A cut will instruct the program to skip past the selection of measures during playback. To see any existing cuts in your music, open the timeline window and change the view filter to navigation. To add a cut, enter edit mode, highlight a selection of measures, and click on the cut icon. To change an existing cut, enter edit mode, click on the cut region, and modify its attributes located here. As mentioned, these and other navigational events are non-destructive. That means that when you add a cut, you're not removing any measures of music, but simply telling the program to skip over them during playback. If you wish to restore playback of the measures that were previously cut, you need only to delete the cut by entering edit mode, selecting the cut region, and pressing delete. A vamp instructs the program to repeat a span of measures indefinitely during playback. This technique is commonly used in musical theater for buying time during scene changes without stopping the music. When a vamp is entered during playback, the specified measures will repeat until the exit vamp command is given. The exit vamp command may be issued via a connected MIDI controller, the function key on your QWERTY keyboard, or by pressing the exit vamp icon in the transport. Once the exit vamp command is given, playback will continue through the vamp measures and then continue beyond when the end of the vamp section is reached. Vamps can be added on the fly during performance mode or prepared in advance in edit mode. Vamps created on the fly are called emergency vamps. These may only be added in performance mode and pertain to the measures of the current playback location. To add one, make sure that you are in performance mode and click on the emergency vamp key from your connected MIDI controller or the applicable function key on your QWERTY keyboard. Issuing this command once will create a single measure emergency vamp. Repeatedly clicking this button will add more measures to the length of the emergency vamp. To program a vamp in advance, enter edit mode. In the timeline window, highlight a span of measures and click the vamp icon. To change an existing vamp, enter edit mode, click on the vamp region and modify its attributes located here. To delete a vamp, be sure that you are in edit mode, select the vamp, and press the delete key. We recommend returning to performance mode to check the playback behavior and don't forget to save. Repeats will allow you to repeat a section of music a fixed number of times during playback. To add a repeat, enter edit mode and highlight a span of measures in the timeline. Then click on the repeat icon. To change an existing repeat, enter edit mode, click on the repeat region, and modify its attributes. To delete a repeat, 
Enter edit mode, click on the repeat region, and press delete. Some navigational events exist at a single point in the music. These include atakas, pauses, stops, cutoffs, and relsecs. Atakas will allow playback to continue seamlessly between songs. Though atakas are usually used at the end of a song to transition to the next one continuously, like any single point navigation event, they can be placed anywhere and can be used to transition to any song in the show. To add an ataka, enter edit mode and click on the desired location to place it in the timeline. Then click the ataka button to add the ataka. By default, the ataka will go to the next song. However, you can modify the destination of the ataka to be a different song in the advanced editor. To adjust the location of an ataka, just click on it in the timeline and modify the ataka's attributes. To delete an ataka, just click on it in the timeline and press the delete key on your QWERTY keyboard. A pause event will sustain any currently sounding notes at the point at which it is reached during playback. Because the desired point of sustain is often in the middle or near the end of a beat, fine-tuning of the pause event's location is often required. To add a pause event, enter edit mode and click on the desired location in the timeline. Next, click on the pause icon to add the pause event, then adjust its exact location in the event attributes section. It is often necessary to place the pauses between beats, so adjust the tick location parameter to a meaningful value. We recommend checking the effect of the pause by going back into performance mode and playing back from somewhere shortly before the pause event's location. If you find that more fine-tuning is needed, simply re-enter edit mode, click on the pause event and adjust its location attributes further. To delete a pause, while in edit mode, simply click on the pause event and press the delete key on your QWERTY keyboard. A stop event will stop playback when its location is reached. This is useful for sasuras, where the orchestra is meant to stop playing and not resume until dictated by the conductor. To add a stop, enter edit mode and select the location for the stop by clicking in the timeline. Press the stop icon to add a stop at that location. You can adjust the stop event by selecting it in edit mode and changing its location attributes. To delete a stop event, click on it while in edit mode and press the delete key on your QWERTY keyboard. A cutoff event will silence any currently sounding notes without stopping the progression of playback. The cutoff action may be used on the fly during performance mode and is often used to cut off the sustained sound during a pause event. On the fly cutoffs may be activated via your connected MIDI controller or the applicable function key on your QWERTY keyboard. You can also add a cutoff to a predetermined location in edit mode. To add a cutoff event, enter edit mode and select the location for the cutoff by clicking in the timeline. Press the cutoff icon to add a cutoff at that location. You can adjust the cutoff event by selecting it in edit mode and changing its attributes. You can delete them by clicking on them in edit mode and pressing the delete key. A RailSec instructs the software to go to a different song and stop. It functions similarly to an ataka, but without the continuous playback behavior. Like atakas, RailSecs are usually used at the end of a song to transition to the next one and stop. 
but like any single point navigation event, they can be placed anywhere and can be used to transition to any song in the show. To add a RELSEC, enter edit mode and click on the desired location to place it in the timeline. Then click the RELSEC icon to add the RELSEC. By default, the RELSEC will go to the next song. However, you can modify the destination of the RELSEC to be a different song in the advanced editor. To adjust the location of a RELSEC, just click on it in the timeline while in edit mode and modify its attributes. To delete a RELSEC, just click on it in the timeline and press the delete key on your QWERTY keyboard. Nearly all navigational events may utilize weight or times values. A weight value indicates how many times playback will pass the event's point of execution before taking its intended effect. For example, if a cut has a weight value of 1, the first time the cut is played through, the cut will not take effect. However, after repeating that section, the cut will take effect the next time it is reached. The times value indicates how many times you want the navigational event to take effect. If a repeat has a times value of 1, the repeat will only take effect once and afterwards disappear. This has been a demonstration of navigational event basics. By harnessing these features in a clever way, one can effectively place a section of a song within another song or stitch together any part of a show. We'll discuss those techniques in our Advanced Navigation Events video, as well as go over adding weight and times values to navigation events to create second endings, dance breaks, and more. Thanks for watching.